In part 1 of this video, we found out we could solve equations with radicals by first isolating the radical and then using an exponent. Remembering that if there is an even radical, we must also check our answer. Let's do that on this problem. First, to isolate the radical, we must get rid of the minus 2. We can do this by adding 2 to both sides, giving us 2 times the square root of 5x plus 1 equals 2x plus 2. Next, we get rid of the 2 in front by dividing each term by 2. This gives us the square root of 5x plus 1 equals x plus 1. We are now ready to get rid of the radical by using an exponent. Remember, we're getting rid of an even radical with an even exponent. This means we're going to have to check our final answer. We now have 5x plus 1 equals, squaring the first, x squared, 1x and 1x is 2x, and squaring the last gives us 1. As the x squared is already positive, we'll move everything to the right by subtracting 5x and subtracting 1 from both sides. This gives us 0 equals x squared minus 3x, and the 1's also subtract out. Once the equation is equal to 0, we simply have to factor it and set each factor equal to 0. Always start factoring with the common factor of x, leaving behind x minus 3. Now, we can set each factor equal to 0. The first factor is just x equals 0, and the second factor, x minus 3 equals 0, where we solve by adding 3 to both sides. Our two possible answers for x are 0 and 3. However, because this problem had an even radical in it, we will want to check our answer first before we say these are our final solutions. Always check back in the original problem. 2 times the square root of 5x, let's test 0 first, plus 1 minus 2 equals 2x, or 2 times 0. 5 times 0 is 0, and so we're just left with 2 times the square root of 1, minus 2, equals 2 times 0, or 0. The square root of 1 is simply 1. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 2 does, in fact, equal 0. This means this first answer of x equals 0 works in the original equation, and so it is a solution to our problem. Let's also check the x equals 3. 2 times the square root of 5x, or 5 times 3, plus 1, minus 2 equals 2x, or 2 times 3. Multiplying first, we get 2 times the square root of 15 plus 1, minus 2 equals 6. 15 plus 1 is 16, so we have 2 times the square root of 16, minus 2, will hopefully equal 6. The square root of 16 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 2 does, in fact, equal 6. It checks out again. This means x equals 3 is also a solution to this equation. Turns out this equation has two solutions that work. Again, when solving with radicals, if the problem has an even radical, we must check our final answer. Before we can clear the radical, we must first get it alone, and then use an exponent to clear the radical.